Hey everyone, Matt Mover here, and here I am playing in Saritzin with the General Lu factory. I've just unlocked it, and this is the first round I'm using with the General Lu. So, let's see how it performs. Uh, that's three misses just there. Gotta get used to it, find out its strengths and weaknesses. But in the meantime, it feels quite smooth, I'll tell you that much. Recoil seems reasonably high. I remember from using the Storm in CTE, that seemed to be a bit uh, better for me personally. Ooh, I got sniped. Those are the sorts of things I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to get into good positions to take out riflemen and snipers. But at the end of the day, you're not going to win it all the time. That medic's just going to run past me, so great. Get back into the fight. So no kills just yet. Spawn right here. Get this guy back into the fight. Get that guy back into the fight as well. Maybe move out a bit. I'm not heading into the church. That's the reason why. First kill. Right, reload. So it's strip clips of five with an extra magazine or an extra round available, not an extra magazine. Oh, I've got some uh, flamethrower there. Right, well, flamethrower is going to absolutely dominate that area. And I got taken out from the inside. I just I don't get how, but I did. Come on, get me, dude. I've got two medics. Well, one now. There's a Via Porosa and there's a Flamethrower. So, yeah, it looks like the enemy's got both. I'm coming for you. I got you, dude. Ooh, and I got shot straight from behind. That's annoying, that is. Like, ah, why is that happening? As soon as I take out an enemy, I got taken out as well. No matter. Gonna get back into this and uh, show these guys what I'm made of. So I'm gonna stick with my squad, capture this flag, get some flag cap points. Odds are the orders will be B right now. Gonna head inside this building, play a bit cheeky. Or sneaky, should I say. See an enemy on the minimap, sort of down there somewhere. Can't see him right now. There he is. He's down. Want to provide him some rifle support from here. Not too bad there. One enemy down. The ribbon of revitalization. Yep, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We revitalize our teammates here. Get them back into the fight and uh, keep them happy. Ooh. No, I ran all the way back there. Look him down. Let's get a reload. Ooh, that's a lot of my cover gone. Those enemies were close. I didn't want to move just so I don't get just shot and killed. He's down. 
Let's get some rounds in. Well, that guy's sort of moving in and out. We have lost objective Charlie. And the tank. Well, that tank is a serious problem just being there. I've got nothing for it, but that guy's got something for it. That enemy rifleman just there, possibly a sniper. Ooh, got taken out by someone in that building. Yep. Just going for that uh, cavalry player just there, but definitely revealing my position. Just trying to get into a sneaky sort of. Uh, Damage just make life a bit difficult for that cavalry player because I know how deadly they can be. But spawning here might be good. I'm gonna get into a good firefight position right now. Got a suppression assist. couple of enemies on our right side. Just carefully move out. I'll drop low. I want to revive my friendly but he's gonna put me into the open. He's down. So playing cautious works well sometimes. Except times like this when you know you've got a sniper nearby. Don't know where he is, but he's probably on the right hand side. I'll drop a med pack and uh, try and figure it out. There he is. Hello, sis, so he's down. Cool, we survived that sniper at a reasonable range, which is good. Not a rifleman though. They know we're on this side. I have to get behind this vehicle. If it's not on fire. Sniper's throwing a grenade. I'm gonna move up anyway. I think he's down. We can flank to see, that'll be the best game plan. Stay around the edges, but just be careful because there's a lot of enemies sort of covering these flanks as well with their machine guns. Head up into the building. Just hide from the tank just for a second. Right, he's getting weakened, so that's good. Got none of my own grenades there, a bit of lag. Just thought I'd spot him. Alright, we're taking C. So since we're losing this, we might as well get back here and uh, try and take a bit of an overview position around C. Climb up here. It's a good spot to climb up if uh, a few of you don't know about it. Maybe take a little angle here, just sort of looking out. See. See a few sort of enemies if they try and take their flag back. Meanwhile, I'll just keep sort of uh, aware of the mini-map as much as I can. 
I'm not going to want to run out of here, though. Right. Quite a few enemies, so if I spot them... If I spot them, it will help my team, but I can't quite spot anyone right now. They're not going to be happy with our little positioning. So one of us should go out and capture the flag. There is another enemy. He's down. Can't really jump out of here. How did he jump out? Uh, this middle window. That's the one. Get in here. Throw a med bag. Throw another one there. This will pop out from time to time. Also just keep in mind enemies that can come from this angle as well. But we've got a grenade. Good thing I dropped these med bags. Close. There he is. Do a reload. I was sort of more conscious of that enemy for a second. Instead of uh, worrying about the revive. Which is what you got to do sometimes. Sometimes you just got to be like, yep. Yeah, can't climb up here. You've got to come up on the left. Going to keep an eye out before I just sprint. There is an enemy there. Doesn't matter, I'm going to get back in. And just peek out of this window. Take out these guys. So we're bringing the scores back somewhat. They've still got a lead on us, but the more we hold this flag, we don't have to worry about taking B as much. Might get lucky with a couple of kills as well. Return to the combat area. That's never a bad thing. And then we might get lucky and uh, take B if we can weaken them enough on B if they keep drawing reinforcements to C flag. But we're losing our A flag. That's something I didn't expect to happen. We weren't really considering our A flag. So right now I'm here. What do I do? Look towards B, look towards A. It's a risk. But we're taking our A flag back really slowly. So it might be worth considering pushing B just in case. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to come too close. Again, there's going to be parabellums, fedorovs, all sorts in there. And that's not going to be good for me. Halfway what there, I'm going to the do... Has the upper hand. Oh. What is that? That's some major glitch going on. Look at that. I'm about to get killed doing that. like a model just in the middle of the air and my and my auto aim is sort of going towards it as well which is a bit weird well not doing too badly you know i want to get in here see if we can do a bit of capturing all right no i got stuck there Ooh, should have, could have ran, but got stuck on that little log. At least I got a decent uh, medic near me who tried to revive me. That guy tried to revive me, revived him. I don't think they can revive me, to be honest. No, they can. I'm just stuck in a weird angle. We have lost objective Charlie. What right, we lost all our flags except B, which is not a good position to be in. Especially when you're losing, so... We have taken objective butter. I'm going to push back to C. To be honest, I'm not really worried about B-Flag too much. 
get down to C. We need these flags. We're taking A slowly. If we take C, we might just be a bit of a pain to them. Am I missing? Oh no. Just pulling out my sidearm, just not quick enough there. No medics nearby. Alright, we're taking A flag back, so that's obviously why there's so many enemies coming from that angle. Ooh, that's me taken down. But at least my uh, friendly medic took him out. That's a good example of teamwork they're reviving. Everyone's taking everyone that took all of us down. We are losing objective butter. We're losing B, so might be worth considering getting back on it. Don't think I'll make my friendly, to be honest. The amount of enemies here. But this guy is such a legend, I have to get him. Ooh. Oh no. Went for that aggressive move there. I <laughs> shouldn't have done. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got a uh, General Lou. Not exactly a Fedorov, but... Forget it. Do it. Sometimes it can work. Except when there's about 10 million enemies around. Still, we've got the control. So many enemies back there. Right, let's move away from this angle. Ah, reload. Literally half a second away from reloading. That's a negative. Long reload times. But that can happen with any self-loading rifle, however. I do not want to be in this position. Because that happens. Grenades, grenades, grenades. Dropped a little grenade there. Got a few medics, but I think they're all sort of camping up. So I don't think anyone will get me. I'll still wait here. Can we do this? We can we get a medic? No, we can't. All right. We have lost objective apples. We've lost A. We're losing B. Let's spawn on B. Hopefully on the outside. This is going to be better for me. That interior gameplay is uh, not great for self-loading rifles. Not great for any rifles, to be honest. You want to be automatic rifling. Got that tank. Just uh, stay alert for any infantry that could uh, creep up. So reload. Totally emptied my uh, rounds there. Guys down, got a medic. A bit of suppression would be good. I've been covered by the tank somewhat. All cover. 
He's down. Bit of suppression will do. Right, we're losing B. And that's sort of partly why. I think these guys know we're here. That's the Saab Slider. Now we've brought that um we brought that gap down quite a lot. A lot more to sort of uh well a lot less than the gap was. Don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Right, this side might be good, because it's got a lot of attacking players here. As you can tell I'm not really spawning on my squad. Just trying to get into tactical positions. I was sort of obviously lucky with this, but I'll take it. I'm coming for you. Get back. Naughty Duck YouTube. Wonder who that is. That'll be a Google search later. Wonder if he's live streaming. Do want to do a revive, but sometimes in situations like that it's difficult. You've got to think, is it worth it? Right, these guys are taking the B objective. If we lose this, we lose all of them. Ah, oh, why'd you do that? I'm so close to you. Reviving on objectives is very good. You get that extra person to help defend it with. Just turned around at the worst possible moment. Ooh, got a hit from that side. But name is C as well. Cheers to the revive, dude. So many guys skip reviving, it's kind of annoying. They don't need to skip revive like that, but anyway. We've just ooh, almost taken the lead. It's so close. Are we controlling all the objectives? I've got medics nearby, but there's no point skipping. I'll just do this right at the end. If no one wants to come, no worries. We've got both of the flags almost. I'm going to spawn on B. It looks like A is under control, and this is a good angle to be at. That will sort of uh, make those guys think a bit think twice about standing around that location. We have taken objective apples. They'll also be wondering, like, where am I getting shot from? Just punishing them as much as possible for going towards this objective as the game plan. Trying to spot him is what I want to do, but I can't. As long as I see enemy shots coming in, I might get an indication. Nothing. I'm going to move up. We have lost objective button. We've lost B, but it looks like we're taking it back. Sniper. Machine gun, actually. We have lost objective. He's probably thinking, what just happened there? If you can't kill, spot. 
even when you're reloading, spot, spot, spot. These guys will just get really peeved off with that. As you can tell, they are getting annoyed with that. I'm going to have to get down because that uh, AT grenade is perfect to bounce off that wall and explode. Taking him down a second time. I've only got two rounds left now. This is the time where I rush in. Use my uh, grenade and my secondary if I can. Oh, my grenade does its job. My last two rounds don't do anything. Pick up a scout weapon. Is that a Martini Henry? Yeah, that'll do. We're losing B though. Oh, it's so close right now. What do we do? Go for B or go for C? Got to make my mind up and go for C. That's a shame, that. Ooh, I got a hit there, but not ideal Martini Henry range. Anyway, a bit of damage will do. Can we do this? Can we win the game? No. No, we can't, because my squad's all dead. This is the only place to spawn. Last chance to get uh, A. Look how close this is. Seriously. Ooh. Guy right there. Didn't spot him. But there we go. Defeat. Ended quite heroically really. 39 and 11. If I would have captured a few more objectives or gone for more of that uh, Bravo play then yeah I could have scored a few more points. So yeah, there's some good players in this game. I'm definitely not the best player as you can tell, but um, it's not a problem. I'm sort of around in the top five in that sort of score bracket. And we've made the best squad, which is even better as well. So fantastic. So that's all for this video. Let me know what you think of the General Lou. Is it a good looking weapon? I think it played pretty well, to be honest with you. Surprisingly well at closer quarters than I thought it would. So uh, drop a comment below with your thoughts and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and until next time have a good one all Matt Mover out.